All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we have been talking, people have been talking about Frank Martin after the Gervonta Davis fight and his letting go of Derek James, the trainer, uh, after that fight. Well, we have an update on that uh, via Lori Reed and her Instagram on her Facebook page. So you make sure you go try to follow Lori, Lori Reed. She gave an update on that. So we're going to clarify what's going on in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 140 pound, 135 pound division where Gervonta Davis had a fight a few weeks ago against Frank Martin. Gervonta Davis won the fight. And of course, you know, rumors spread about the firing of Derrick James by Frank Martin. Like it does every single solitary time, Derek James has a fighter that loses a fight. Now, before I get into it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Look, before I start talking about this, I want to let you know that YouTube is probably not the place you should get your news from. I have a YouTube channel, obviously, because you're watching me on it. And I talk about the news every day. I, If I hear something, I'll tell you. Um, however, I have to always tell people, new, YouTube is probably not best for news. Because there are so many people out there that can that are talking that will spread rumors and they want to get a competitive advantage over other content creators. So they'll put a little extra mustard on something or they'll take real news and then add some manufactured fact to the end of it to make their report sound, you know, unique. So, you know, you can almost, you know, expect like shock treatment when it's when a fight is over. Certain type of news will always come out because it's consistent. So one example of this is the relationship of Derek James, the 2022 trainer of the year. The relationship between him and his fighters. Derek James broke ties with Errol Spence Jr. That was confirmed. Before that, however, it was rumored that he had been fired by Anthony Joshua before Anthony Joshua moved on to another trainer. He now he fired. Now uh, he was fired by Errol Spence several times and he was fired. He was fired by just recently Frank Martin according to these reports. And, you know, you get, you know, you get traffic off of that. And that's no problem because that's the reason why people have YouTube channels. So you, I don't think it is fair to ever criticize somebody for wanting to get traffic. To be a discerning listener, though, and to be a discerning uh, YouTube, uh, uh, YouTube community member, <laughs> you need to think, OK, well, I, I'll take this with a grain of salt. So when people told me after the fight with Frank Martin that or after the fight with Gervonta Davis, rather, that Frank Martin had been fired by Derrick James or Derrick James had let Frank Martin go. I waited and I was like, you know what? Who said this? Where did this come from? OK, we'll see. Well, according to Lori Reed, shout out to Lori Reed out of the great state of Maryland, very closely collect connected to the gym that Germonte Davis fights out of has a great Facebook uh, boxing group uh, who has released other very inside good inside information in the past. She said that she spoke with Derek James and Derek James said that was not true, that he had not been fired by Frank Martin. I can only assume that that also means that Frank Martin has not 
been released by Derrick James either. So we can uh, stop that. We can give that a rest until we actually see what goes on with Frank Martin in his next fight. Now, my two cents on it is the following. There is no reason for Frank Martin to fire Derek James. When Derek James trained Frank Martin and Errol Spence got Frank Martin to a payday and an opportunity that he may not have gotten ever if it was not for those two. And it seems to me that there is a level of professionalism going on within uh, man down promotions and Derek James world class gym that is exceptional. They have they have their own widely publicized beef and they did not elect did they did not allow that to affect a third party. That should be commended. If Derek James uh, doesn't want to deal with Errol Spence, Derek James at all, then Derek James could say, hey, man, I don't want to deal with the Errol Spence Jr. fighter because the paycheck for Derek James for the Frank Martin fight is probably going to get cut by Errol Spence Jr. So Errol also says, hey, man, you know, I know I got problems with Derek, but look, Frank is my guy. For I'm going to continue to do my job in a professional manner with Derek James. And those guys have even handled this lawsuit that they have going on. And I've done other videos about I've done other videos about that where I think I've been very clear that I ain't really feeling um I'm not really feeling that lawsuit because I don't see and basically that lawsuit is about how much money is owned owed to Derek James. And the pretty much the kernel of it is or the central point of it is whether or not he owes 10 percent of a bout agreement to Derek for a fight or whether he owes 10 percent of the total revenue of a fight to Derek James. To me, since you got paid for 29 fights one particular way. That and you accepted the money and time went on. Course and conduct dictate that that was the term of the agreement in a non um, in a in a in a in a agreement that was never written down and it doesn't specifically state it. So to me, it just doesn't sound like it just doesn't seem like there's a lot there uh, for Derek in this particular instance. But. I admire his professionalism. I admire Errol's professionalism. And I honestly, man, I admire the job of Frank Martin. Frank Martin should not, Derek James should not be fired because Frank Martin got in there and fought a guy that's a better fighter than him. It's just what it is. Gervonta Davis is an excellent, excellent fighter. And he's at a level of his skill set and his development that Frank Martin is not. And you could tell there was going to be no game plan that Derrick James could have executed. I doubt that there was any, I doubt there was any game plan that Derrick James could have imposed on Frank Martin that would have got him past a guy that's that smart. A guy that has just as much ring experience as Derrick James has. Right. He's been fighting since he's eight years old. He's now 28. He's got 21 years of ring experience that of seeing it, doing it in real time in front of crowds, in front of big sellout crowds. Even when he was in the amateur, he had experience in that regard. Frank Martin had a huge hill to climb and he did a great job for about four rounds. But then it is what it is. Now, Frank Martin can go on and do what other people did. Hopefully, I hope this for him, what other people did after they lost to Gervonta, like Roly Romero did, like Isak Cruz did, like Mario Barrios did, like Jose Pedraza did. And they go on and they become world champions in their own right. But, you know, losing to Terrence Crawford does not is not the end of the world. He's the one of the best fighters in the, of the century. Losing to Canelo Alvarez is not the end of the world. He's one of the best fighters of this century. Losing to Gervonta Davis is not, there's no shame in that. He very well may be the best lightweight of this century. And I'm saying he may be. 
I'm sure somebody will argue about it, but he may be. We don't know. He's definitely on a track to being able to prove it. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.